Hello, welcome back to ECS Coffee. I'm Rebecca and today we are going to be doing a comparison between the new DeLonghi True Brew automatic coffee maker and the Mocha Master in the KBG T version, so the Thermal Craft. We're also going to be using the new Baratza Encore ESP because we love this grinder. If you haven't watched a review on that, go ahead and watch that because it's a really, really great grinder and I'm so excited to be using it again today. about both of these machines. Um, they are kind of similar in terms of being certified by the ECBC. The Mocha Master, however, is also certified by the SCA, so that's the Specialty Coffee Association. Both machines have gone through rigorous testing to ensure that they're brewing at the right temperature, in the right amount of time, with the right amount of beans and the grind size. All of that has gone through testing to ensure that you're getting the best brew possible but the method in which you get there is very different on each machine. With the DeLonghi True Brew, this is a one-touch automatic coffee machine. It's going to grind and brew your coffee at the press of a button. It also offers you a espresso-like style beverage option. So that's going to brew at about four to five bars of pressure. You get a little bit of a, a creme on there. Um, so that's something that the True Brew will do that the Mocha Master does not have the capability to do. Mocha Master is your standard drip style carafe with a separate grinder. So no integrated grinder on the Mocha Master, which is why we've paired it with the uh, Encore ESP today. The, both uh, machines will do a full carafe of 40 ounces. So you're not gonna be able to make that 60 ounce carafe with either machine. And with both units, you could get like a travel mug size or you could get a single cup serving as well. Uh, for the Mocha Master, that would just mean putting in less coffee grinds and less water into the reservoir. It'll brew whatever you put in. And then with the DeLonghi True Brew, it's a one touch. So it's just laid out right here for you. You've got three ounces, eight ounces, 12 ounces, 16 ounces, 24 ounces, and then the full 40 ounce carafe. Now there is another version of this unit that doesn't have the craft option, so it would just go up to that travel mug size of 24 ounces. On the Mocha Master, you have two, four, six, eight, and 10 cup serving sizes. Now those are four ounce servings, so max is out at 40 ounces. Um, both machines will brew the full pot or should be brewing the full pot in around the six minute mark. So we're going to brew a full pot on each machine with the same beans. We're using the 1.21 Ethiopian. Let me see if I've got it here. I do. Delicious, it's our favorite. It is one of our staff picks as well. Um, really, really nice tasting notes on that one and super fresh. So for the uh, True Boot, all I have to do is press the 40 ounce carafe size. For the Mocha Master, I am going to have to grab my paper filter, rinse my paper filter, grind my coffee, ensure that I have the right amount of grinds by weighing, and then press brew. So I'm going to do all of that stuff for the Mocha Master before we brew, because I would like to brew at the same time to see if one brews quicker than the other, because um, I haven't timed the true brew in terms of how long it takes to grind. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to grind my coffee for my Mocha Master. I have my grind setting set at approximately 22-ish, maybe closer to the 20, four mark, um, which is a, a good medium fine grind for the Mocha Master. Even though Mocha Master recommends using a medium coarse grind, through trial and error, we have found that a medium fine grind works way better. With the Mocha Master, the style of the cone and the method of brewing with the shower head, you just get a more even extraction that way in our experience. Um, so I'm gonna get grinding. I'm just gonna grind pretty much what's in this hopper. It should be enough for, it definitely will be enough for the full craft, but I might have to get rid of some of the grinds and then I'm going to weigh it out. So for my full pot, I'm going to do, I like to do um, 50 grams for the full liter. So I am going to do, I'm gonna do 55 for the full pot, which is usually what I do for a Mocha Master. Um, some coffees I like to go a little higher, but I'm gonna start there. So turn this guy on 
and we're grinding. So on the True Brew, wouldn't have to deal with this. You'd be able to press the button, walk away, and have your pot of coffee made for you. Or have it timed so that it turns on in the morning and it's just ready to go. You wake up to freshly made coffee. That looks pretty good. Mmm, it smells really good too. All right, I'm gonna go weigh this out. So I gotta go grab a water filter. I gotta rinse my water filter because I don't, or sorry, paper filter. I have to grab my paper filter, rinse my paper filter because I do not want any paper tasting notes in my coffee, not a fan of those. Um, and then stick it together, weigh it, all that good stuff. All right, and we're back, so we have Rinsed our filter, weighed out our medium fine grind coffee, and the Milk Master is ready to brew. So over to the True Brew here. I'm going to select my size. Oh. It would help if I powered on the machine. Luckily, this one is really quick to power up and doesn't rinse into the drip tray. It'll rinse into the machine, which is such a nice feature but I'm really concerned about the coffee quality and the flavor of the coffee because that is, at the end of the day, you want good coffee. You know, how you get there, the convenience, that definitely makes a difference. For me personally, I just want a really good cup of coffee. I care about the quality, the temperature, the flavor. Can I taste all of the tasting notes? Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see that. I know on the Mocha Master, I know what I'm going to get, but I wanna see in a comparison how they perform against each other. So now we're powered up. I'm going to click my size and I'm going to click all the way over to my 40 ounce carafe on my type. That is the style of coffee that we're brewing. So you have three options, light, gold, and bold for your hot coffee. I'm going to go to gold, which is the gold cup standard for brewing, which is how the Mocha Master brews. Okay. Pause. When we were cycling through types, we went over the bypass option, which defaulted us back to 16 ounces because that's the max amount that you can do through the bypass. We didn't notice because that's a terrible design and why would it do that? But it did. But we'll figure it out in a minute. So just sit tight. And now I can click brew. On the count of three, I'm going to click my true brew and I'm going to click my Mocha Master. On the True Brew, you hit Brew. On the Mocha Master, there's just, it, you have one setting, on or off. That's it, it's just one button. So, on the count of three. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. So, brewing should take approximately six minutes on the Mocha Master. Um, the True Brew should be approximately the same time as well. It looks like it's already ground. Why did it switch to 16 ounces? So both of our pots of coffee have finished now. The Mocha Master finished um, a little bit before our True Brew here because when we were doing our brewing on the True Brew, I selected my size first and then went through to select the gold standard or um, the gold strength for my brewing and it reverted it back to the 16 ounces because I cycled through uh, over ice and the scoop. You're not able to do an over ice option um, or I think even a scoop option on your craft. So it reverted it to a different size. I didn't realize and it only brewed my 16 ounce. So then we had to go back, reset everything, go to my gold cup and then go to my carafe size and then brew it. So we started it a little bit late because it had to finish that 16 ounce brewing cycle. So the True Brew is now done. My Mocha Master is complete. And I'm going to taste the coffees and see how different it is. Because remember the True Brew, you can't select your grind size. It grinds for what you are making. So on our pot, um, it ground and brew three times totaling 40 ounces, and I wasn't able to select my grind size. So I'm curious to see, one, I wanna see what the grind size kind of looks like 
in the pucks in the back there, the used grounds, um, because we obviously always use medium fine on the Mocha Master, like I said before. So let's pour some coffee. I'll do my true brew first. So it's a good thing my Mocha Master has a stainless steel craft. Both of them are stainless steel, nice and insulated. Um, some of the Mocha Masters as well have a little bit of an updated craft than the one we're using today with a, a different spout. So ours has the old 360 pour spout. The newer ones have a more traditional spout like this True Brew here with a designated spout for the coffee. A little bit more control with those guys. So you'll be seeing those ones online instead. It's definitely hot. I can smell the floral notes and the fruity notes already from the Ethiopian, which is great. Smells really nice, actually. And my mocha master. I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can because I'm a big mocha master fan. Oh. Okay, so let's give them a sniff. So this one is the true brew. It's like the, you can really smell the nuances in there, which I'm, I'm impressed with. Okay. Yeah, similar. Um, the True Brew smells a little bit fresher. The pot is a little bit fresher, so I'm going to take that into consideration. But both of them are steaming hot. Like, you're not gonna get a cold cup of coffee from either of these machines. They're definitely gonna be very, very hot. So. Let's hope I don't burn my taste buds off here. Oh, I might. <laughs> oh no. Mm. It loses the nuances when you taste it. It's not, a, it's not bad. It's a good cup of coffee, but it doesn't taste as fruity and as floral as it smells, which I really like in an Ethiopian, which is one of the reasons it's one of my favorite drip style coffees as well. Um, now my Mocha Master. Mm. Good. Um, more fruity and floral notes come through on the Mocha Master than on the True Brew, but both are good cups of coffee. Um, on our Mocha Master, it didn't taste as, as smell as fruity and floral, but it tasted fruity, more fruity and floral, which is, that's all, it's kind of funny. You put them both together, it's like the perfect cup of coffee. So the Mocha Master took approximately uh, just over five minutes to brew, and this guy took what was it, Jack? 6.45? Six minutes, 45 seconds. So the Mocha Master was definitely faster. And you think that's because the uh, True Brew is grinding. So in between each brew cycle that it did, which was three, it ground a dose of coffee. Uh, speaking of, let's check and see what the grind size looks like in there. Wanna see if we're at like a medium fine, medium coarse, medium, like where are we hovering around? So they don't really tell you in the manual. So, oh, that's like a perfect little puck there. Wow, I'm. that's kind of funny. Usually they're kind of falling apart with the True Brew because it's a coarser grind than espresso. But yeah, looks like a little, it looks like a two bite brownie. Oh, geez, okay. Uh, it's definitely like a traditional medium sized grind not a medium fine like we would have had with the Mocha Master, so, but a medium grind is very traditional too when um, using a drip style brewer. So that's what I was hoping and what I was expecting to find. So that's great. All right, let me push that back in. So overall, both machines are going to give you a fantastic um, flavor of coffee. It's going to brew quickly. It's going to uh, be very, very hot and it's also going to taste well-rounded. So both coffee brewers 
provided me with that softness that I want from an SEA or ECBC certified brewer because it does fall soft on your tongue as opposed to something that is maybe a little bit cheaper, doesn't go through the testing. Um, it can taste harsh and sharp on your tongue. And these ones just both felt very soft, which was really nice. Uh, the Mocha Master, I did taste more of the nuances. Um, that's probably due to the style of brewing as well. This one has a shower head. And the DeLonghi True Brew has a brew, brewing unit. So it infuses the coffee, but it's not pouring it over like a pour over brewer, which is, is how you get some of those really great nuances. It lets the coffee bloom. Uh, with this guy, you are getting a bit of a pre-infusion, but it's in a packed puck. So there's probably less saturation going on there. You're probably, um, it's just a different st method and style of brewing. However, the Mocha Master required more steps. I had to rinse my filter. I had to uh, grind my coffee beans. I had to weigh out my coffee beans. The True Brew will just do that all for you. It's going to grind you the right amount of coffee. It's going to brew it and it's going to dispense the pucks in behind the machine. So it's a lot easier to use in terms of that. Now I did have that little mess up there with the brewing the 16 ounces. To get around that with this machine, just make sure that you select your type of brew before you select your size of brew. So just a little something to get used to there. Um, I'm trying to remain unbiased because I do love the Mocha Master, but the Mocha Master did give me the style of coffee that I was hoping to get from the True Brew. Um, the True Brew did fantastic. It actually outperformed my expectations for the full craft, but still didn't give me the, all of the nuances of my Ethiopian. So just something to consider when you're looking at a coffee brewer at home. The Mocha Master here comes with a five-year warranty, which is fantastic, handmade in the Netherlands. And the True Brew comes with a two-year warranty plus an extra year when you register it online through DeLonghi. Um, so, I mean, you take your pick. Are you a Mocha Master person or are you a True Brew person? Do you want to have a one-touch system or do you want to get a little snobby about your coffee? You know, let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video maybe helped you decide on whether or not you need a Mocha Master at home or a True Brew coffee maker at home. Remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us. Follow us on all of our social media channels and uh, leave us any comments or questions down below. Thanks, guys.